The Sixers are an excellent sleeper pick in this very unusual season. The most perplexing NBA team is still the Philadelphia 76ers, who were nearly unstoppable at home at 29-2, and absolutely abysmal on the road at 10-24. and The Sixers' road woes will continue with their ninth consecutive road loss. The disparity between their home and away winning percentage is the largest in 52 years. So we wonder, does a neutral site help or hurt these Sixers? Did you know a healthy Ben Simmons and arrested Joel Embiid is good news? But Philly needs Al Horford, Tobias Harris, or Josh Richardson to emerge as a reliable third scorer for a team whose pedestrian offensive rating led them 18 in the league. Yes, defense wins championships, but only if the Sixers can find a way to score when it matters. Embiid how the Sixers' fair could prove to be a referendum on the future of Coach Brett Brown and the viability of an Embiid-Simmons combo as the faces of the franchise moving forward. How are the Sixers preparing for the resumption of the NBA season in the bubble? Well, for Ben Simmons, he was told about this change uh, going into training camp that they're going to put him at power forward. No more point guard. He's not fighting it. He's embracing it. In fact, one of his former LSU assistant coaches, David Pat Patrick, has been yelling to the family for years, put him back to power forward like he was at LSU. At LSU, during that lone season, he averaged 19 points, about 12 rebounds, and about five assists at the power forward position. I talked to old LSU head coach Johnny Jones, now at Texas Southern, and his quote was, he was the most effective with the ball in his hands after rebounds or long outlet passes because it allowed him the opportunity to create for his teammates an open floor, and it was difficult one-on-one -on -one for our opponents to contain him and keep him from getting in the rim. He was effective at the four posting because of his strength, quickness, and ability to either score quickly or pass the ball effectively of double teams. So Johnny Jones, go Tigers. He thinks that Ben Simmons at the four spot could be very, very dangerous for the rest of the league. And Ben Simmons think, seems to think that the cure for his shooting ills is Orlando. He's already called it. He's going to be shooting threes. We shall see. Uh, speaking of Ben Simmons, Mark, what are you hearing about what he's going to do to further the social justice platform as play resumes? Well, I think Ben should get more credit for his social justice platform than he gets. Uh, last year, he was uh, believed he was racially profiled going to a casino in his hometown of Melbourne in Australia. And he was very, very critical about it to the undefeated in a video we had last year. He's a co-producer of a documentary about uh, the racism that Australian rules football star um, Adam Goods faced. And keep an eye, he got something in the mix that's going to go on in Australia from a social justice platform soon that I think it's going to be pretty outstanding. We've certainly seen a global reckoning, not just here in the States, when it comes to social injustice. Mark Spears joining us from the Orlando bubble, talking a little Sixers. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.